Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be reviewing a product from Searpick called the Bogota Entry Tool Set. And Matt had sent us an original set of these a couple of months ago for us to play around with, and we can't say enough good things about them. Searpick has recently come out with a second and third version of these, which are made in stainless and titanium, which we'll show in a second. But since we haven't done a proper review of the Bogota Energy Tool Set yet, let's start with that. Now, what's unique about this tool set is that there's two tools, two tools, that's a tongue twister, included in the set. And one is purpose built as kind of a feeler pick or a single pick, and the other is a rake. Now, the rake design, I think, is heavily rooted in traditional rakes which you can see here, the top one is a C rake, or I'm sorry, the top one is an L rake, the middle one is a W rake, and the bottom is a C rake. Now, if you kind of compare those to the rake that's included in this tool set, you can see some definite similarities there. But they're there for a good reason. It's because they work. Rakes are one of the best ways to, to bypass a lock, and they're one of the best ways to, to quickly gain access to a lock. Now, before we get into anything more, let me first say that we don't advocate anything illegal here on ITS Tactical, nor do we believe that you should ever use this information for illegal purposes. Uh, the information we present here on lock picking is purely from a lock sport standpoint and also to develop your skill set to be able to get yourself back into your house if you lose your keys and things like that. And lock sport in general is nothing more than just the sport of picking locks. And it's to develop your skill set and to understand that there's an illusion of security in common households and things like that. I mean, things like the standard pin and tumbler lock, which we'll show, and even these gun locks, which are wafer style, which these picks are made to pick both, and we'll show that in a second. But both of these locks, they're, they're very easy. They're... They're not complicated. Anybody can get into locks like this. And if you've seen our our thing on uh, bumping a lock, I mean, it, nothing's safe nowadays. So this information is presented more to, to teach you about the sport, to get you into the mindset that there is an illusion of security and how to protect yourself against it. So that being said, let's move on with the review. Um, we've kind of covered the Bogota Entry tool set a little bit. Again, just to... To reiterate, the rear of these is used as a tension wrench, which it replaces the common tension wrench here. And of course, the front we've already described here. So let's get into ways to identify and the benefits of these new kind of tool sets, these new Bogota entry tool sets that Searpick is offering, the stainless and the titanium. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is the weight. And we've been kind of weighing these sets here let me get my scale on here. So these are the titanium. They don't even register on the scale here. And this is in tenths, tenths of an ounce here. Uh, stainless set, about a tenth of an ounce. And the standard set also comes in about a tenth of an ounce. So I don't know how light this, the uh, titanium ones are, but they're definitely, you can feel the difference here. Now, all these sets are extremely light. So it's really not going to matter what you're carrying, to be honest. Uh, but obviously there's a, uh, some inherent, inherent uh, properties in titanium that makes them a little better. One being non-magnetic. So there's your regular picks. There's your stainless picks. No magnetic signature on the titanium ones. So that's definitely a benefit. So let's move into uh, how to carry these before we go into showing you a practical demonstration of them. But the best way to carry these that we found that is also uh, in one of uh, the articles by Ramundo who makes these for a sear pick. And again, these are all custom made picks. These aren't uh, production picks. These are all hand done um, specifically for sear pick to sell. So the best thing you can do to store these and to keep them on you is either to shove them in your wallet or take a standard spring from a pen and slip it onto the picks. 
And once you've slipped it on, you can take a safety pin and run it through that spring, compress it a little bit, and close it up. So you can clip that somewhere and keep them on you at all times. So let's get into a little bit of the practical application of these picks. And again, I mentioned earlier that they're for standard pin and tumbler sets as well as um, wafer style locks. Let me uh, make sure that's locked again and I'll demonstrate in this wafer lock first. So what you want to do is use one pick and I'm going to use that single feeler pick as the tension wrench here and the other pick here becomes your rake and when you're raking in a lock just to reiterate you just want to kind of do a rocking motion like this inside of the lock on the pins or in this case the wafers so there's that one See how easy that was? Now, these picks are not going to make you a superstar lock picker or anything like that. Um, lock picking is purely a skill set that has to be developed and worked on. And, and work, really, you have to practice. And it's all about feel. There's really no book you can read that's going to say, this is exactly what you need to do to learn how to pick locks. But that's a little beyond the scope of this review, so... Let me move on to the standard pin and tumbler here. Let me demonstrate. This is, a, <clears throat> this is a set we commonly use to practice with. This has pins ranging from one through five. Um, five being meaning that it has all the pins in it. So I'll just demonstrate that this is locked. And again, I'm going to use that single feeler pick to provide tension, which again is very lightweight tension. And stand up here to get a better angle on this while I'm demonstrating. So all you want to do is just apply that light tension. I'm going to rake in and out of the lock and unlock it. So there you go. That's a, just a simple demonstration here of the Bogota, Bogota entry tool set. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I know Matt from Sear Pick kind of hangs around the site, so I'm sure he could chime in with anything, any questions you have. Now, these pick sets, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but they're only available to law enforcement, military, and security professionals, so make sure you're one of those before you contact them about purchasing some. But head on over to searpick.com, check them out. Again, they come in regular, um, stainless, and titanium. It's been ITS Tactical Gear Review. Thanks for watching.